Um, hi guys. So today I want to cover how to use this uh, project hub movement component. It comes by default with Android Engine. Uh, you can use this component for bullets or anything that's projectile like, so like cannons and, and other stuff. So uh, here's an example of what it does. So the bullets that are flying out of here, they're powered by this um, projectile movement to move, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create an actor. Okay, that's just an actor. And then add a static mesh to it. Okay, the static mesh, you can maybe create a, a bullet mesh in Blender or anything, import it and then use like a static mesh. For my bullet here, I used two components. Okay, there's a cylinder and then there's a pointy cone because I was too lazy to go into Blender and mesh these together. So for you, you can just use like a, a single static mesh. That's fine. Um, the most important thing here is this component. So just go over here and then search for projectile movement. Okay. So this projectile movement component is what will be powering the movement of this when we spawn this act. So the way it works is when this actor is spawned, this uh, projectile movement will start moving this um, projectile, our bullet in this case. And as you can see, there's nothing in the event graph or the construction graph. This is it. We are done with our bullet actor. Um, let's cover the settings now of, the, of this projectile movement component. The, the first settings that you want to look at is the projectile, the under projectile, the initial speed and the max speed. Uh, they do what uh, they sound like. So the initial speed is the the speed of the bullet as it leaves the chamber, and then the max speed is um, the t the maximum speed that the bullet will reach. So if this is higher than the initial speed, uh, there will be an acceleration. So if the max speed is lower, there will be a deceleration from this. That's how I understand it. Okay, and then the next thing you want to okay, I'll cover this other section the velocity section later is an important setting but for now let me just show you how to uh, spawn the bullet and make it move so you need to have um, another actor that's going to trigger this the, the spawning of this bullet so for me it's this character so if you go to our viewport right here I just ignore everything else so what you need in your actor is a bullet spawn point okay so for my spawn point I just used like a uh, a scene component so this it's just a scene component you move it anyway so this bullet spawn point can be attached maybe to your to the tip of your gun or or what have you okay so just place it wherever you want if you want to place it to the foot place it to your character's foot the bullet will spawn from the foot so from here this is where our bullet will spawn perfect so we have our bullet spawn point uh, if you go to the event graph now there's one thing we want to do it's actually just literally what that we want to call the spawn actor and then we spawn our bullet actor. So whenever we do this, let me do this. Spawn actor from class and then we select the bullet actor. Sorry. All right, this is everything we need to do. We need to provide it with a spawn transform, which is where our bullet spawn point comes from. So you just call bullet spawn point get wall transform and then plug it into this that's it and then you just need to execute this so for example for you you can execute this with the left mouse button right or what have you or the right mouse button so that way if you press the left mouse button uh, the bullet starts shooting or it's spawned and uh, starts moving so basically that's it that's everything that you need to do uh, for me here what i'm doing is i'm using uh I'm using this plugin, so don't worry about it. I'm using the Media Engine Broadcasters plugin. Um, it allows me to shoot events when MIDI events happen. So as you can see on the MIDI note on, whenever there's a gunshot, I want to spawn an actor. So for you, you can just press your mouse, but for me, I'm just using this, okay? There's nothing more to it. Basically, you just need to ex execute this, spawn the actor whenever you feel like uh, the bullet should be spawned, and uh, that's it. So. When this happens, this yeah, that's what you'll get, right? So going back to that setting that I was telling you about, the um, 
the velocity of this uh, projectile movement setting. So this this uh, velocity here, it's uh, it's mostly direction. So if you do x, the bullet will travel in the x direction. If you do z with one here and then zero here, the bullet will travel upwards. If you combine um, x, right? X with the Z, the bullet will travel in some sort of an arc. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna do uh, Z at one so that the bullet shoots upwards, and then I'm gonna combine the two. Okay, now let's combine the two. Okay, you can see that the bullet is going directly up there. So if you want to make like a nice arc, you can probably just reduce the influence of the Z to maybe 0 0.2. And I'll show you what it does. See now there's, there's little movement upwards and there's more movement to the front. So um, that's, that's basically it. That's all you need to do. Uh, to work with the projectile movement component. Um, there's another setting uh, I'll cover in the next video uh, that adds collisions. So for example, uh, let me show you. So you can see the coins here, they are colliding with the floor, but the bullets are not, okay? So uh, even the coins that are using the the projectile movement, but I'll show you how to uh, combine the projectile movement with uh, with this other component called the rotation component to get this effect here. And also I'll cover how to make the, the collisions. So yeah, remember, this is the plugin I'm using for uh, shooting out um, events according to the song or MIDI. So you can get it on the Unreal Engine Marketplace.